Today we're creating the CRT scanlines effect, that vintage screen vibe you see in old TVS and retro edits. First, add retro dither, set the palette mode to 1 bit, and the dithering to Sierra 2. You can try other modes too. Then set downscale to 3x and adjust the threshold based on your footage. Next, add a tint effect and apply your desired color mood to match the CRT vibe. Then, add glow, set the threshold to 65 and the radius to 19 for that classic soft CRT bloom. Now add Venetian blinds, set the transition to 9, direction to 90, width to 7, and feather to do for those classic scan lines. Add another Venetian blinds, set transition to 9, direction to 0, width to 8, and feather to 1 to complete the scan line grid. Now add a Gaussian blur and set the blur amount to 3 for a softer, more analog look. Next, add a fast box blur, set the radius to 1 and iterations to 1. Now, at CC wide time, set forward to 0 and backward to 1, this adds a subtle frame echo for that vintage CRT feel. Next, add unsharp mask, set amount to 155 and radius to 1.6, this sharpens the scanline details and gives more texture to the frame. Now add wave warp, set the type to smooth noise, height to 11, width to 45, direction to 0, and speed to 4. Now add another glow, set the threshold to 87, radius to 400, and intensity to 1.5 for that strong retro screen glow. Next, apply CC vignette, set the amount to 115 and the angle of view to 50 for that dark, focused frame look. Then add channel blur, set red blurriness to 20 and blue to 10 for a soft chromatic glow effect. Now add curves and adjust it based on your footage to balance the contrast and depth. Next, add hue saturation and set the saturation to minus 25 to give it a faded, vintage tone. Now add exposure, keyframe it, set the first frame to 0, move forward and set it to 1, then back to 0 again. Add the loop out expression so the flicker keeps repeating. Finally, add noise, set the amount to 10, and make sure to turn off use color noise for a cleaner CRT look. And that's it, your CRT scanlines effect is ready. A perfect blend of retro distortion and analog texture for any edit.